I'm Matchett. I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Today, me and old Kimo Sabi here is going to go pick up the cheapest <laughs> gooseneck we found on Craigslist. You guys go with us. All right, we got the trailer hooked up. Out of respect for privacy uh, for the people we bought it from, uh, we didn't film any while we actually got the trailer. But I got the master mechanic here yeah. with me, and uh, so we're actually going to... There's a few things we got to do to it when yeah, we just when, a few. yeah. So yeah. when we when we get uh, back to the house, not nothing major at all. Uh, I'll go over the the trailer, give you an overview, and then we'll, we'll we'll go from there. Got it back to the house, no problems. The trailer did great. It was what an hour drive. Yeah, something hour fifteen. An hour yeah. fifteen. Yeah, pulled great. Pulled great. So it's a 2008 PJ, and we found it for less than half price of a new one. Twenty plus five dovetail, you know, dovetail on the back. What's the difference between a dovetail and a beaver tail? Beaver tail is a is a brand. That's oh. the that's the brand of it. Ah, I thought that might have been a difference, but anyway, it dovetails back here. This particular model is a two thousand. Like I said, it's two thousand eight. It's got the third ramp here. It doesn't have the master ramps like, or the mega ramps like they have nowadays. It does need a little work on the decking. You can see here. Now, some people may say, "Well, that's pretty cool, Hank. What are you going to use to to the big old gooseneck trailer for?" <laughs> maybe we've got something coming up that's it <laughs> so you've got to keep watching to make sure that, uh... <laughs> some of the things that's wrong with it is this jack here doesn't have the, the spring the spring is either locked up or broke on the inside so this doesn't retract automatically and then the rest of it is just some lighting issues yeah, um, you'll have that yeah for sure yeah. Uh, i mean it's a trailer and uh you know, down here in the panhandle of Florida, if you have all your lights working, they actually give you a ticket. For... Yeah, that's <laughs> The place will give you yeah, a ticket. Yeah, you're the oddball with all <laughs> yeah. the lights working. That's got a nice toolbox. And the cool thing about that is he actually had the keys for it. So, I mean, we're batting a thousand here. <laughs> Funny story. When I first tried to back out of this thing, I had the tailgate up. <laughs> so that's a, luckily I did not pull forward before. I was like, ah, oh, you got, you know, not only do you take the tailgate down when you back into the trailer to hook it up, you got to keep that tailgate down when you unload it or unhook it so that you can get out of there without tearing your truck up. So we got some brake light issues. The tail lights work, but the brake lights and turn signals don't. We're going to check this here. And we're also going to replace this breakaway uh, brake system here, the emergency brake system. I'm actually going to replace that box because it looks like it's kind of had its better days. So this is what the inside of your wiring harness looks like. And all those colors will go to, you know, like yellow will go here, red will go there. But looks like a couple are loose, so that might just have been our problem. A lot of times when you have... Um, lighting issues or electrical issues first thing you want to do is clean contacts and grant look for grounding issues chafe wires things like that right now we're just going to remove the wires there's actually wires that hold this breakaway box here this breakaway systems box here that connect to the wire and harness down beneath it or below it and then uh, we'll disconnect the breakaway box am i the only one that thinks it's a good feeling when you can when you can buy something that's that's in good shape and it just needs a little tender love and care, a little TLC, and you can get it fixed up and have it running like new. I love doing stuff like that. You know, if you like watching videos like that, you should hit the subscribe button because we do a lot of it here on the channel. All right, so this is the breakaway box. And you can see, well, you, it's got, this is busted and that's missing. And there's just a battery in there. Yeah, battery. So I'll get that replaced because you you know you got to have not only for the safety of you but for the safety of others if this thing com comes off and you need that brake system to actually lock up to keep the brake from rolling downhill and killing people because we've got a lot of hills here in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> let's see if I can get a good shot in here. I don't know, does it come out? The, let's see. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, look at there. That is not in the best shape. So I'm going to end. They sell, they actually sell that whole whip or pigtail or whatever you call that. And uh, so I might end up replacing the whole thing, or I might just cut this off and splice it on. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the store has when we get there. Now that we got everything torn apart, we're taking a voltmeter, multimeter, and we're checking the connections here. Tell us what we're doing. 
So I'm used to seeing blue as the electric brake wire, but on this one, there's no blue in here. So there's a black and all I'm doing is seeing, taking the schematic that we had, checking where the, where the brake wire is supposed to be in the plug and then checking for continuity to see where it should be. And then it's actually right here. You can hear that beep tells me that that's here on the black wire. So I'm just making sure that we've got all the wires that we need to have, first of all. We actually have a power probe here, and it's a little tool that you can hook up to a battery that we got down here, so the lawnmower battery, and you can hook it up to grounds, and it'll actually tell you if your lights are working in the back. So Brandel- Yeah, so basically it's a, it's a powered test light is what it is. Essentially, since we've got it hooked up to the battery, we can provide power or ground to any circuit we want. So we can provide power and just go hit connections, and those lights should light up. So it'll tell us if we've got good wiring from right. here to the back. So let's let's actually try it. So, Brando, I'll go back here in the back and let him go ahead with the power there. All right, go ahead. All right, there we go. Let's see. Can you guys see that? That came on. But listen, I'm missing that, so that's the, I got to buy that one. So that's on. Uh, let's go to the left side. Left side here. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Yep. Okay, so I'm not going to run through the whole, all the lights with you, but you get the concept. It's a really neat tool to have in your arsenal if you're going to be testing a lot of electrical circuits, a lot of lights. Um, it's a really, really neat product. When we went through the whole testing cycle, we noticed some bulb or some lights did not come on. So you can also use this to actually test the bulb in the uh, light there. So you have a ground on the power probe itself. Gotcha. You can put the ground on one side of the bulb and then apply power to the other side and you see the bulb doesn't turn on right so that means that that bulb is dead there as well so hopefully you all have friends like Brandel. <laughs> <laughs> not only do they have tools that will test the electrical side of the trailer they have a test plug that you can actually plug in your truck and then that will tell you if all the uh, connections are working on the truck side y'all know i've had problems with this daggum 6.4 power stroke i'm not surprised if the electrical is jacked up in this truck isn't it as well so for something like this you literally first of all you have to get in the truck oh my goodness why did it make them truck so high just plug it in here now we wait i'm ready Nothing. 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 Really. I me down here to the bottom here. All right, go ahead. Nothing. Oh, there. Tail light. Nothing. Do that tail marker again. Yeah, that works. Nope, not having any of those lights come on on the tester. I'm telling you, man, this truck is... <laughs> <laughs> so we figured out that we're going to check fuses and stuff. So so let's check the fuses on the truck, see if we've got any blown fuses. And hopefully that solves our problem. It's sim hopefully it's as simple as that. We'll keep checking then. Randall! Yeah? You laying down on the job? I am. <laughs> I'm having a nice relaxing day. Get up, man. we got work to do. So we did find a problem. We had some blown fuses uh, underneath the hood there. So that should help most of our problems. But we still have to replace the bulbs that are blown and replace the missing tail light in the back. But at least we know now that the truck is good. All right, here we go. Yep. Yep. Let's see if I can get that up for you with that shade. Yep. All right. Yeah. Okay, so we've got... Uh, we got th just a blown fuse. Now we'll zip back, we'll zip tie all the wiring that we undid underneath there and uh, get it buttoned back up. Came up here, got all the parts for our trailer. I'll show you something. See how that? There's Branson tractor sitting there. And there's Branson tractor sitting over there. Every time I look at those Bransons, I like them more and more. Now that we got all our stuff, let's go back to the house, get the trailer set up. All right, we made it back from Cloud Auto, right? If you've seen some of my other videos, Cloud Auto is, 
I'm telling you, it's my favorite place to go. It's one of my, it's one of my favorite places to go. Um, so let me show you what all we got here. Let's see here. We got a new LED light. I picked the worst possible place to uh, park with all these shadows and stuff. So uh, some dielectric grease. There's my oval LED marker. This is the new wiring adapter we're going to do. This is the grommet. Some uh, little rings for the wiring. There's some more rings. Here is our breakaway system. This was uh, this will go to replace this old one. Of course, we always got to do the electric parts cleaner and uh, Brandel bolt lunch. <laughs> now, I call, remember, I told him you know, five minutes ago. I called him lying, laying down on the job. Well, yeah. <laughs> laying down, got to eat lunch, all that fun stuff. That, that's my contribution. Yeah, that's his contribution. All right, so let's get this trailer uh, fired up. Use the fancy cutters here. <laughs> to nibble it all out now you'll see some of them will actually have screws that will take care of you you screw down here but we don't have that so we've got this now's the fun part get to hook up all the colors i like colors <laughs> one thing you have to do and i've made this mistake in the past is you gotta put this on first <laughs> you get it all wired up you're like doggone it i forgot to put the daggum thing on there for all my northern friends, what I just said was, man, I forgot to put the <laughs> cover back on here. I'm going to tell y'all something. This right here, I don't know, that's pretty nasty, but a cut thumb, it doesn't help your calls when you got a cut thumb, that's for sure. All right, we got the new plug plugged in here. Let's see if it works. Got the new wire, the new harness plugged in. Uh, all right, go ahead. All right, that tail light works. Oh, yep, right signal works there. Keep it. Yep, right signal's there. Left signal. All right, good. Let me see your left signal. Yep, there it goes. Keep going with your left signal. Yep. All right, let me see your brake lights. All right, there you go. Success, all right? So we got this thing. Uh, now we just got to replace the, the burnt out bulbs. And they should work so that we're pretty excited about that the only thing we're going to do now is we're going to replace the breakaway box we got the different styles so we're going to drill some holes there and i think that's going to be about it i forgot to show y'all we actually replaced this this is a new tail light here too led matches the other ones there so now we're going to drill to put the breakaway box so what we did we made marks on the outside uh here I'll use my DeWalt 20 volt brushless. This is the Atomic series, not sponsored by the way, but I do like the DeWalt tools that we have here on the Hamiltonville farm. Now we get to put the box in. So these breakaway boxes here, it's got a test. You can see the red, the red light comes on right there. Now we'll just take the blue, white, and black wires, run them to this junction box here, and then we are done with this project. I'm going to eventually buy the spare tire to go on it and uh, with the cable locks in the back. So sometimes those tires will grow legs if you ain't careful. And I think we'll be done with this project. Let's finish up this wiring right quick. We got her buttoned up. Here's our new box here. You can see uh, the, it's wired up into our junction box via this wiring loom here. And it's secured to the trailer. I think we're done, Brandel. I think so. What are you doing? I'm playing with strength. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought some wheel chocks, right? And you can see them down there. But So I just took a, a regular old piece of string I had and I tied them there so I could pull the chocks out. And this, you know, the bird nest over here is what we got going on. But Hey, listen, real quick. If you guys will click on this little white circle over here, that will take you to our subscribe page. Underneath it is another video from Hamiltonville Farm. Click on that. We'd appreciate it. You guys take care. We'll catch you on the next one.